Hello guys, welcome to Symbol Tech Working Bench. You can see it's a bit messy here because in the last few days I was working on this CNC machine to calibrate it to work perfectly because today I'm gonna do the power supply board for this uh, AMCAP Nelson Pass amplifier. So without further ado, let me show you all the steps that you need to do in order that you can manage to make a PCB board with the CNC machine. Actually, let's call it MCB, milling circuit board. So without further ado, let's jump to my computer and show you all the steps that you need to do in order to create a PCB board. So first step is to create a Gerber file for our PCB board. So let's go to my computer and do that. So I'm using Easy Edda because it's very easy to design PCB boards on. And as you can see, this is the layout that I designed. I have the AC coming in in these two connectors. Then I have another AC coming in these two connectors because as I mentioned, the amp cab needs to have two separate power supplies for each channel. And then I have the common ground over here with three connectors that goes to power the amplifier and anything else that is inside the chassis. I have two connectors also for the positive in one channel and another two connector for the positive into the other channel and I have my rectify boards here created by diodes I have the first two capacitors then resistors that uh, it will gonna help for inrush currents and then we have here another two capacitors in parallel with another small capacitor 0.1 microfarads over here every single diode has in parallel with it a capacitor same with 0.1 microfarad so if I press in 3d I'm gonna show you how should look the PCB board when it will gonna be finished so the PCB board should look like this one I uh, now let's see after you design everything and you are happy with how that looks the only things that you need to do is to export the Gerber file so you go in fabrication and you click on uh, PCB fabrication Gerber file and then I already did this check so I'm gonna just skip this stuff and then you just need to generate Gerber file and then you just see I already done it and you save in the computer in a place that uh, you know that you can find it very easy after we export the Gerber now it's time to work on the flat cam the flat cam is helping us to transform the Gerber file on uh, G code so the unique things that you need to do is just open on file and you go to open open Gerber file so you go in the folder where you saved your Gerber file and you open it and you get it from there and we need the Gerber board uh, board outline and bottom layer so you import those ones on the flat cam and then we need another file which is called the Exelon so we are importing also the Exelon and the Exelon is this one then here if you are working on the bottom side you need to flip over in axis in order that it will not be totally on the opposite side so, so like mirroring the the board so first you start doing that so you click on the file then option and flip on the X axis and then you do all the three files the same so once we have that done we need to go to do the geometry of this file so first you start with the bottom layer and you press select and here we need to know also with which kind of tool we are working in order that uh, the software it will gonna create the G code exactly just to keep the size perfectly so I'm gonna use for milling a tool of 0.2 and I'm gonna say 0 in overlaps and then just once you enter that details just press full geo and it will gonna create the this file where now we need to make sure that we're gonna put them the right uh, commands like how deep needs to mill and also the fed rate so actually this CNC machine is quite weaker it's not that much strong especially the spindle so I need to go a bit more slowly with the fed rate otherwise I try with this 76 I snap so many mill bits so I'm gonna say that I'm gonna go deep in minus 0 0.9 I'm gonna say travel x travel z 2.2 because the PCB board is just 1.5 and I say that I use 60 fed rate here then we go to setup also here same 60 fed rate once you, we put all the information we just say generate and here we go then you have your G code already made it for milling the PCB board okay the unique things that also I need to do here because my Z axis doesn't go to 50 millimeter high so I need to reduce it to 10 millimeter you can just save the code the 
folder where you like to save this one because then we're gonna need this file in order to introduce on the software that control the CNC machine like G code sender okay that one is done you can close this one and you can go to the project back and take the board in and save you put here I'm gonna use to cut the board with the one mil tool I'm gonna say the overlap zero and again you trace the full geometry and here you need to see how much is the thickness of your PCB board so in my case it's 1.5 so I'm gonna say to mil minus 1.6 to go a bit over like that I need to cut over and I'm gonna say this one to cut in two passes so this mean 1.6 divide 2 it will gonna be 0 0.8 so I'm gonna say 0 0.8 in one pass and I'm gonna say also here again 2.2 the travel up and here because we are milling 0 0.8 I'm gonna say just the travel it will gonna be half of the speed when I'm milling the copper side so I'm gonna say set up only 30 feet rate and once you are inserted that details you just generate and over here again you have the CNC code the G code so the same also here for my machine I need to modify the Z axis when it's finishing the program then next step which it will gonna be our X the drill so here we can see that there is more diameters on holes so I have 0 0.8 1 mil 1.2 and 3 mil diameters so in this case I can do also a program that it will gonna stop uh, and you can change the tool but bear in mind you are not sure if the tools they have the same distance and you will gonna might end up that the hole it will not go pass through I suggest you to do one by one for each tool that you want to use to make the drills so you click on the file and then select it and then you deselect all of them here let only one let's say we are starting to do the G code only for the drills of 0 0.8 each are only those here same you need to put how long how deep to go the Z the, the cut so it's minus 1.6 we say because the board is 1.5 minus 1.6 travel again 2.2 and then I'm gonna say the fed rate same again to 60 and then you say you click on this one to make it blue and then you generate G code once you have the generate G code you already see that you have the G code for this 0 0.8 mil holes so that's it for my CNC I need also here always to change to 10 mil then you save it again to a folder that you like I'll not do it because I already did this this process already last night now we go back to project we take again the drill and you can select and now we are selecting the next holes which are the 1 mil so the same we are keeping it all the same things we don't need to change anymore nothing just generate the code and we have also the code for the next holes and you do also one for all the sizes of the holes that you have there so I will not go through because I need to do another two like 1.2 and 3 mil and you have all the codes once we have done this now we can pass to the next level opening the CNC G code sender to do our machine connect the machine to the computer and start doing some work after we finish all the files to be processed now it's time to see to connect the machine to our uh, CNC G code sensor. I'm using CNC GNs, but there is also others like candle and so other CNC G code senders to the machine. First of all, after you connect, make sure that you go and connect the right COM port over there. And once you that done, make sure that everything is calibrated and start first uh, jogging a bit the axis to make sure that everything working perfectly. So let's try to move 10 millimeters uh, the X axis. So how you can see is moving perfectly. Let's move it back. Yeah let's move the Y now the Y axis is moving also perfectly let's try to move also the Z axis so 10 millimeter down is working perfectly 10 millimeter up working perfectly let's try also the spindle to make sure that also the spindle is working perfectly so <laughs> working good a lot of vibration coming here if you everything working perfectly and all the machine respond to the commands now we start to put the PCB on the CNC bed and try to start doing the things and now that we saw that everything working perfectly the CNC communicate uh, good with the computer and uh, it's moving exactly the dimension that we sent from the CNC G code sender to proceed further I suggest to use some safety glasses because we are working with the sharp 
tools and you don't want that any bit is snapping and maybe jump into your eyes. Okay, so now let's choose our bits. So we say the first we're gonna mill the PCB board. So this mean I need to use one of the V cuts. So let me see what I have here. So I'm gonna might use one like this one for milling the PCB board. It's maybe just only 0.2 there and is the perfect size that I choose for the G code. So we're gonna use one of these. Then we're gonna go to the drill bits. They have the three millimeters over here and then I have 0.8 over here and I'm gonna have one mil over here and one point mil over here so let's start first installing the V shape cut on the CNC machine make sure you make it very tight let's fix in place now the PCB board to the CNC bed so I use a double sided tape because I really do well on the trial that I did and I managed to do this board like that but I tried in a double sided PCB just to make sure that everything worked good I use the same I use this kind of a double sided tape so let's mount it over there then I draw this line here to have a, a reference to install the board in uh, the perfect square now the our board is in the perfect place and doesn't move left or right. It's time to bring our Z axis on the zero position over here. Okay, so let's bring the Z axis in the zero position. So I'm gonna use this piece of paper in order that I can bring the Z axis more accurate a bit. So let's just, let's change to lower movement. I'm gonna feel that it's scratching the paper. So now it's scratching my paper. And now can I bring it to zero X and Y? Let's just do one mil per time and we are there almost to the zero so i'm gonna turn on a bit the spindle it will gonna make a bit noisy because i want to bring it a bit more down like 0.02 because i presume the paper has that thickness And now I'm pretty sure that I'm in the right position to start doing the PCB. So let's bring the G code on the G code sender. So upload the code and we go where we know that we save. So I have the CNC files over here and I'm gonna start first bringing the bottom layer. Once you have that one on the system here, make sure that you have all here fixed on zero so for me it's easy it's I close and I open again now it's everything zero and I'm gonna bring the code again which is this one and now we can also press play and we're gonna have the CNC machine start doing all this work okay so let's press play and wait for the results
Meaning the traces on the PCB board took me like 30 minutes. So now it's time to change the tool to the drills and start doing these holes. So let's remove this bit from here and put the drills on. So here my 0.8 mil drill. Let's install in. Now I need to bring back to zero the z-axis and start drilling. The drilling process also took like 10 to 15 minutes to be done all the sizes. So now it's time to change again the tool and start do the board outline cutout.
let's have a look how this board come out so looks like it's really neat all the traces are perfect if I just would like that to see through so have a look really nice all the traces made it perfectly and definitely I enjoy making this board if you enjoyed this video guys please put a like down there and don't forget to share the video with your friends I hope you learned something in how to make your own PCB board at home let's call it MCB milling circuit boards because we use it a milling machine to do that and if you are new watching this video please don't forget to subscribe and activate the notification bell like that you'll not miss the next part when I'm gonna start soldering all the components in this board that we did it today so until the next video guys bye bye